Hey there, friends. How's it going? Richard here coming at you. As well as Little Mia. Yeah. Ah. And what are we doing? We're actually super excited because it is Tesla delivery day. Um, yeah, it's been about two months and today is finally the day. I mean, what, a, what a consumerism problem that I'm like, oh, finally the day I take delivery of car. It's an expensive vehicle, um, but actually heading out to take delivery today. So that should be super exciting. Just something to, to enjoy. So we'll, we'll walk through that with you, share that experience with you. Uh, here in New York City, we're going to Tesla down in Brooklyn to pick up the vehicle. Uh, I think, I don't know how it works with express delivery here because I know that the, it's like a building, they don't have a huge lot at all. They like store the vehicles inside, have to bring it down through an elevator. Yes, mama. Yes, mama. You ready? All right. So just about to head out. Um, but before I do head out, thought I'd put together, um, start off this video with some of the things that you may want to take with you to your delivery day. Um, now just generally Tesla, if you order through the app, well, just generally speaking, they've streamlined a lot of this process. Um, like if you're taking, ex whether it's existing inventory or a new build, they have within the app, all these tasks for you to do. So you'll put your registration information. If you're financing, whether it's using Tesla financing or third party financing, uploading insurance, you could take care of final payment. All of that is done through the app. So by the time you get to delivery date, uh, there's very little that you ha actually have to do and complete. Uh, so at this point, registration is done. I got financing lined up, uh, insurance was taken care of, I made the final payment, although that one you, you don't necessarily have to do, we'll talk. And then now it's just go, going to Tesla to pick up the vehicle. So the things I'm taking may differ a little bit depending on where you are and your circumstances, but the first thing I'm taking with me are the plates from my last vehicle. I'm actually transferring the plates. Uh, depending on where you are and how it works, you know, or the convenience factor, you can maybe get new plates or you can transfer your old plates. So the first thing we're taking are the license plates from my 2020 Model 3. I'm going to transfer those to the Model Y. Second thing I'm taking already, it's, although it's already done and completed within the app, I've uploaded proof of insurance. I like to always have a copy of my insurance card inside of the car. Uh, so once I take it off the lot, uh, just in case something does occur, get into a little accident or so, I have a physical copy of the uh, insurance card. So that's what I'm keeping. Again, depending on where you're at, you may not need to carry it. I think some states do allow uh, you to carry just a digital copy of your um, insurance card. Obviously my license is on in my wallet. Um, what else is there? And then the final thing is gonna be payment. Um, this is the payment, I, the credit union that I got my financing through gave me a certified check. Um, other banks may just wire it directly to Tesla depending on your um, your preference. Uh, about payment, I just say this much. You may wanna keep some portion of it until the date of delivery. I've sent the portion, my portion, um, the cash that I'm putting up front already. And this check will hold. And the reason is, um, you know, when you take delivery of a vehicle, you wanna walk through it, make sure there are no major issues with it, uh, if there's anything you can reject delivery of it. And so you don't wanna have Tesla have your money and then it's a, a, it could be potentially difficult or challenging to get the money back. Um, so you may wanna keep some portion for delivery uh, so that if there is an issue, like you just, you save that money. In theory, what I should have done is just gotten a certified check for my portion as well and then just drop that off, uh, same thing. But I'm just like, you know, I didn't have time to go to the bank uh, to get a certified check, so I just sent that payment in advance. And other than that, like, um, everything else should be accounted for. I think I'm also taking, where is it? Um, my drive for Century. I, I think the car should come with one, but just in case, I'll, I'll take that with me. And that's it. So again, license, if you've got insurance, copy of your insurance card, financing, if you're transferring plates, and that's about it. So we're about to order an Uber head over there, get there uh, for the delivery date appointment, and I'll see you at Tesla Brooklyn. Hey there, friends, how's it going? So we're here, delivery day, pow. And here it is, the new whip. Tesla Brooklyn, take you up to the second floor. Everything is ready to go. Car's looking good. Gaps look pretty, pretty consistent. Not worried about that. Headlights in there, pretty firm. Check for curb rash, we're good there. I think you still have seven days either way to like, if there's any issues. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen any blemishes. 
We're good with hardware four. Um, that's it. So just waiting for paperwork to be done, and we'll be on our way. All in all, we we, we got here what like ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago, and we're done. That's the beauty of express delivery. Yeah. Um, but look at that paint is. They did a really good job with paint, but I'm still gonna throw on a coat of classy all-in-one. Hopefully soon. Um, yeah, super excited. So let's finish this up. Uh, generally speaking, people I, slam the doors, make sure the doors feel good. Um, what else would I recommend? Check the front, check the, your trunk or boot, as they call it, on the other side. Uh, I remember on my Model 3, I had an issue. There was water going in here. Uh, only when it heavy, heavy rain, but I think there's a pinhole somewhere on the Model 3. Hopefully they rectified that, but got a nice cover here. Cargo cover is magnetic, actually. It's magnetic. And then for the rear seats, check this out. Rear seats go down like that. Mm. The button. What do you think so far as the space and... A lot more room. Seems to be good. Seems like it will be more comfortable. A lot more comfortable. John's gonna love it back here. Especially yeah, the dog. What we got here. Yeah. And then there's another... If I'm right about it, there's another space there a little bit. So you got space on the side there, space on the side there, whoop, button. Cool. Um, yeah. Continental Pro Contact tires. I might get some, I want to try those Bridgestone Toronza EVs. Um, oh my gosh, look at all that space back there. Woo wee. All right, let's rattle up. Um, that's, that's just from car washing, that's fine. Super dope, super dope. And it's cool, let's see, everyone else is dealing with the same thing up here. Uh, how much does one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 24, so probably like 26 cars here in total. Pretty dope. Hey there friends, how's it going? So we are, are already done in there like 10 minutes at best, probably because we I was going around the car um, and then had some trouble loading Mia up into the Model Y. But basically we're done, took delivery, uh, everything was great. Uh, the service agent was awesome. Uh, just really quick, really seamless, man. That process is super incredible. Every every car manufacturer dealer should should do something comparable. Just get all your paperwork and whatnot done out up front so that you just get in, get your car, and get out. Um, so now it's just we're gonna take first ride. Just waiting for Steph to get out, and then um, we'll share first thoughts right after that. But just initial thoughts from the Model 3. I mean, a ton, a ton more space in this vehicle. I mean, that, and that's what you expect going from a sedan to an SUV. Um, and um, what else? Yeah, a lot of space. Really, really a lot of space. The biggest challenge that we had was with the Model 3 was that right there. When you put the, the car seat in the back, this seat was like up against it, so you had to move that forward, uh, and that just made it very, very uncomfortable to drive, especially long distances. And after that, like, let's just get the Model Y. Um, all right, so let's take a drive, and I'll share, we'll share first impressions in a bit. Um, so we're back home, spent the day going around a little bit, uh, got some food, checked that farmer's market, Gave the car a little pace. Um, having some issues with locks, so I gotta figure that out. But otherwise, Steph, what are your first impressions? I like the car. What do you like about it? Um, maybe one versus your your car, 2016 Ford Escape, if anything. Okay. What and then, comparing cars? You no, know I'm saying like, is, is there I anything? I was gonna compare this car to the Model 3. Model 3, all right, done, to the Model 3. Because this car does not compare to a Ford Escape. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, right off the bat, more room. 
absolutely way more room. And you hear our daughter in the back. Also, it's just higher off the ground. I have an SUV, an escape, so it's just, I like the fact that we're high up off the ground. It's a nice feeling. But yeah, more room, higher up. It feels like it's brighter in here for some reason. Yeah, I haven't driven it yet, but that's my first impression. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree, same thing. Just compared to Model 3, this is the long range. There's no acceleration boost, no. Pickup is okay, it's plenty. I floored it just for a little bit. Still got, I can beat most cars. But how often are you doing that? Not very often at all. Um, the space in here is outlandish. So um, again, the real issue that cropped up with the Model 3 was the child seat in the back just making these seats push up forward uh, when you have a base. So hopefully I'll install the base tomorrow or something, see how it fits. Um, but the trunk, AKA the boot, as they call it in Europe, is massive. Like Steph was saying, the seats are higher up off the ground. So there's just a lot more leg room play that you can have up here up front. The seats in the back recline just a bit, right? There's yeah, like a reclining definitely. that you can you, nice yeah, push that back. Um, but yeah, otherwise, so far, day one, delivery day was a success. I would agree. All right, until next time, take care, be well. Bye for now.